Thank you there, Simon. Extraordinary <laughs> <laughs> amount of banging going on behind there. <laughs> so now I think it's um, from one light moment to another. I think we now it's time for a bit of comedy song. It's got late in the evening and I think that's what we need. So please welcome Mr. Richard Morton. Thank you, Hackney Empire, baby. Thank you for that lovely, warm, friendly welcome. I'd like to finish with a song. Uh, this is a song about being incompetent and being an embarrassment to your friends. And it's entitled, You Bring Out the Emlyn Hughes in Me. Uh, right, don't think I'll do that one then. Um, I think I'll do a happy party song. Because I think we're having a happy party now, aren't we, Hackney Empire? Yeah! Lovely. I'm just glad it's not at my house, really. Uh, this is a happy party song. It's about alcohol abuse. It's entitled, If You Think the Drink Has Numbed My Brain, Wait Till You See My Genitals. Uh, lovely. Well, I won't do that one either. Um, Lenny Henry, Lenny once said to me, Richard, always leave an audience. And that's all he said, just always leave them. So I think I'll leave you with a serious song, Hackney Empire, baby. This is a serious and sensitive song about the difficulties we often have in our relationships with our parents and the difficulty in being a one-parent family sometimes. I think you know. And this one's entitled, My Daddy Was a Sperm Bank. <laughs> my Daddy Was a Sperm Bank, he came on my account. <laughs> what is it now? Well, uh, it has got a bit of a sing-along chorus, thank you for asking. And if you don't want to sing along, it doesn't matter. I get paid exactly the same anyway. Okay. So here's your bit, Hackney Empire. Do you want to sing? Yes. Lovely. Here we go. Oh, heckled down there. He's going, no. Thanks, mate. That's my manager, by the way. <laughs> Just wish you'd be a bit more like Brian Epstein. Dead. Uh. <laughs> bit of mic technique there. Here we go. This is your bit. My daddy was a sperm bank. He came on my account. Whenever he was hard up, he splashed out a big amount. <laughs> well, there you are in your own time. Whenever you're ready, off you go then. <laughs> it's fun to know you're related to a man who masturbated. <laughs> to test you that inseminated your mother. Who he was, I'll never know. Donors come and then they go And it's hard to tell one test tube from another Of course everyone, let's hear ya My daddy was a sperm bank He came on my account Rocket Whenever he was hard up He splashed out a big amount <laughs> My daddy was a sperm bank He worked a week in hand <laughs> grow up really <laughs> so I lived in the freezer while my family was planned some friends of mine have stated oh, they would rather be related to a test tube labeled and dated than to their fathers but for me there's just a bank where some guy goes for a while and <laughs> Petri dish, he lathers. Of course, he can't come very well. My daddy was a sperm bank. He came on my account. Let's hear ya. Whenever he was hard up, he splashed out a big amount. My mommy chose my daddy. And it makes me wonder if we rise to the occasion when the competition stiff. <laughs> Crass, but it'll have to do. Sperm bank, a doctor, won't you say who was it? Or who left me as his deposit? And can you calculate his interest rates? And the person he would impregnate, you yeah, to think his pearly issue, it a test tube and not a tissue. And on Father's Day, does anybody miss you? I don't think so, last chorus. My daddy was a sperm bank. Raise the roof whenever he was hard up. He splashed out a big amount. My 
my daddy was a sperm bank what do you think of that he had a shiny helmet though he never wore a hat <laughs> Thank you, good night.